Greetings, everyone. We have ourselves another trimmer. And this one's missing an air filter. That sucks. Air filter housing is missing. How's the primer bulb? Oh, that still, uh, still pushes. As flexible as a ballerina or rhythmic gymnast. Let's see what we got. Mm, spark plug. And the little ones. And some oil. Little cap back here. Gas tank. What's this? What's the ratio on this? Oh, it's so dark. Let's take a look. It says gas only. There's no ratio because it's obviously going to be four stroke. Okay. All right. So it's Cub Cadet 4175. Or cycle. Hmm. Now this is interesting because I initially wanted to take this motor out and do something else with it. Hmm. Well, let's just get it running back as a trimmer and uh, see where we go with this, right? Yep. So we have a, like a on and off switch here. This is it's constantly in on position. So that's it looks like it has some liquids in it, I think. Let's see. That's dry. Okay. I'm sorry, you didn't see. It's very dry. A little dirty, but dry. And, uh... I think it's dry. No, no, there's stuff in there. Okay, so there's gas in there. Oh, yummy. That's good. Okay, so there's gas in there. Whoa, I'm so sorry. That was a weird thing that just happened there. Okay, let's try that again. Alright, that's gas. You can see that moving. And it probably also has a lot. So, we gotta get rid of some of those chemicals. I need to get to that spark plug, and uh, it's a little recessed, so I'm gonna pull the shroud off. This is, these are all, this is a T25, so I had a couple T25s in there. Need to remove. This one looks a little different from the others, so let's take a look at it. These are smaller, that's what we thought. Okay, let me take a look. Okay. I have a feeling that it might be T20s. These are a little coarser and oops, let's show you the difference. That one I just took out, right? It's 
a little coarser. <laughs> a little coarser in thread. Yeah. And the first one there I just took out is looks like this. No one's considerably finer in thread, so it goes into metal. Okay, so let's pull the rest of these out. Go. I see you. Oh, that just kind of broke that off. Okay. Not what I expected. This was like that. And it looks like the fuel line here went through that little hole, the gap right there. And that broke right off. Hmm. So we gotta figure out which one of these is the. Uh, both of them snap right off because this was hanging. So we, uh, we're gonna have to figure out which one of these is the uh, attached to the primer bulb. Let's remove the spark plug and uh, check for spark. This is 5 8 so I had to use a f spark plug socket because it's pretty, uh, it's pretty, pretty deep. Not as cognitively deep, but. You know, like an like an ocean deep, very deep. Okay, so this spark plug is carboned up a bit. It's an interesting spark plug. Mm, very long and thin. Reminds me of myself. Okay, so let's uh, let's check for spark. Look right there. You tell me. See anything? I see nothing. Nope. I saw something. It's faint. Okay. But it does. Let's see if we can just get it to turn over a little bit. See if it wants to run. So I'm using a little 50 to 1. It uses straight gas, but you know, this is just, uh, just a quick test.
I need like a bib for my engines. I want to improve my uh, servant uh, utensil. Okay, I know I have spark. Let's get a couple holes, see what happens. With the shroud off, we can really get a better idea of like how this thing might have failed or just neglected. So we can see here we have a lot of uh, buildup right, of carbon. So looks like the engine got a little carboned up. I don't see so this bottom half. Oh, right there. So it leaked right here. Right here. There's a leakage. See how wet that is? So it's failed right here at a gasket. And that's what all this is down here. Okay. So this gasket's failed. Uh, it's pretty dry up here. So this gasket's pretty good. It's like metal. Neat. And then we have like this material gasket here between the uh, muffler. Hmm. Alright. Fuel, fuel lines have failed. Don't know the condition of the carb. The uh, primer bulb is excellent. Try to save that. Fuel tank. We'll check the condition of that. See if there's any leaks. Other than that, it's typical. Uh, neglected trimmer. So let's figure out what these lines, which one goes to a fuel filter. Shall we? Alright. So somewhere in here is a fuel filter. Attached to one of those colorful things. <laughs> they just keep falling apart. <laughs> I grab one, and it just falls apart. <laughs> Let's see. Let's just kind of turn it to the side and try to shake it out. Much of a fuel filter, huh? Gotta be one. Really not wise to uh, operate these things without fuel filters. So, wow, this is amazing. Wait till you see this. Watch this. Ready? Before. Maybe that's not the best. All of these. Before. <laughs> They're like turning to powder. Look at that. That's amazing. Alright, I'll play around with this. Let's get this carburetor off. Looks like uh, it's too loose. It's probably a T25. Probably. Someone's definitely been working on this because uh, that screw was not even, that fastener was not even like holding anything. I chose to take this carburetor 
in the carburetor housing off first because there's some linkage. That's those two. And uh, those linkages will kind of uh, limit us a little bit. How much flexibility we have to move around. See if this is savable. Okay. Uh, hmm. So I pulled it off. I took a little bit of the material with it. Okay, here's a here's a throttle linkage right here. That was in here. It's a little dark, I know. So. That's good to know. So we have the carburetor out of the way. This is a uh, a Walbro WYL carburetor. Oh god, I hate these things. This is when they start making them difficult to find um, rebuild kits for. Yeah. Okay. Oops. Uh, that O-ring just fell. I believe that was here, correct? Sorry. That O-ring fell off. I think that's what was, that was there. Anyway, like I said, this is a Walbro. Walbro. And it is a WYL carburetor right there. Can see it around. Okay, with that linkage kind of detached, what does this do? Okay, I'm going to get the engine away from here. Okay, so we have a crankcase breather hose right here. Just get that out of the way. That was there. There's quite a lot of things to unscrew. Let's see. that out. So 25, no. Separate the engine from the uh, spring. Let's spring the you know, uh, It's kind of like think of it like the transmission. So. the same as the other ones that I took off earlier. Yeah, not, not just actually, they are the same ones in size. I took off earlier. Okay. What do we have? Oh, underneath.
like the engine and the clutch are kind of attached together as well. Let's see if we can uh, pull off this. This is a T20. Okay, so this goes into metal, so thread pitch is a considerably more higher in density per inch. So these are uh, thicker in thread. They seem to hold a gas tank in place. Yeah, there's no fuel filter in here. Well, that's not good. Poor carburetor. So it goes into metal. Found this little bracket here with a screw. So it looks like uh, this is part of the gas tank. So it must have went, I think it went like, yeah, it went like this, I think, like that. Yeah, because there's one on the other side also. So. Let us just dock it. Doesn't this view look like a starship? Yeah, that's what it looks like to me. So that was here. This is for the gas tank. There's another one over here. So these things, we have two of those.
pad. Okay, so here's my issue. I'm not sure. You can see the wire comes in under here. Both of them it just kind of like goes through this little gap here, comes around, and this would be the kill, kill switch. And then we have throttle here, right? I, I don't really know. See, this has to come off so this gasket can come off, right? The, uh, there's something here that's holding. Just not sure how much to pull. It's kind of just holding the uh, throttle place. Feels like it should slow down, but I'm not sure. Just don't want to really break anything. There we go. Just push on that. It kind of slid out. Okay. okay so it kind of slides. Oops, so we lose a leaf. So this here slides. There's a tab which you detent like that. And we have this gasket. Gasket number one. You see that? These are T25s. So, so we can get this uh, carburetor housing off. Gotta say, not my most skillful deconstruction. Now, this had Loctite on it, interesting. Or something like a club locker. So fourth, right? No, yes. And so it looks like uh, it's like kind of wedged into this cardboard here. Oh, that's a cool little gasket. Not seen that before. See? Because these little teeth. 
Get there. Gasket number two. This looks like a uh, cork, cork gasket. Gasket number two. Right, now we can see back there. There we go. Do you see what I see? So we have two things we can disconnect. This red wire all the way to the front of this case. Go, go, disconnect. Oh man. Hmm. Size matters. Size matters. Did you see that? That's uh, the red wire just disconnected. And then it looks like the other one's screwed on to the magneto. So that's not going anywhere until separate the engine from this. There's one more bolt right here holding on the uh, engine. To this, so let's, let's see if we can get that off. Right there. Well, that was easy. <laughs> okay. Okay. That's cute. something else. Accusations here, people. We know what happened. Okay, my issue is how do I separate this pull start from the engine?
notice that uh, as I pull on the engine, you can see, look right here, you can see that that's like kind of moving with it, right? That'll be the clutch. So let's, this clutch has a uh, screw in the middle of that. Let's see how easy it'll be to get that out and get to it. T25 would be smaller. I got these rounded um, bits for this reason because you can get the same set. There you go. But it'll have a hex shape and it will never fit down inside of this. I learned this like, a while ago. Alright, so it looks like it turns the engine, so I'm gonna have to like. Uh, Lock it from spinning. Yeah. Okay. Let's do that, shall we? Slide in some rope in and trying to uh, stop the engine from turning so it'll bump up to the rope. Yeah. That's the plan. Hopefully, it's right so tight. So, yep. I was concerned it would be reverse threaded. So the clutch is off. Let's see what's in there. Okay. That's fine. Doesn't want to come out. I'm good with that. So we have a clutch, flywheel, this, okay, so this will, we'll need to, is this going to come off, slide off? Probably can use the pliers to grab this, but this has a, uh, it says off that way, so I'm assuming it's, uh, screwed down. So I'm just going to try to use a chain wrench. Chain strap wrench. Let's see. There it goes. It's not off that way, so it's got to be that way. Right two for the job. Now there's a washer right here. Let's not lose that. Very important. Kind of tricky at first to see them. That washer. the 
the was threaded on. Let's see. Tells you what to do. The reason why they do that is because these things are not universal in the same orientation for lefty loosey righty tighty. So the washer right here. That should give us the access to the um, there you go. We are in. Not bad. Just a little clean. This is the ignition coil where we are, we are removing. So this generates a spark. And that's for the kill switch, so this will ground out to the body of the engine and kill spark. And those are these long, thin friends of ours. T20s. Let's get the other one off while we're at it. part in. Okay. He'll switch at the top. It's an MTD part by the way, MTD 72504485. That's useful to anyone. The wires are snaked around right here. This shaft has a little spacer right here. It has some witness marks right here, so we'll use that to like get our orientation when we put it back together. Now, I'm looking at this overall engine, and I thought there was a leak here. Remember? It doesn't look like it. This engine looks like it's in really good condition. And the oil leak I'm seeing is uh, just just sloppy pores and it leaked up in there. And that's about it. The, the seal hair is pretty good. There's no, uh, there's no leakage whatsoever in the halves of this engine. So this gasket's in really good condition right here. The muffler, this can probably be pulled apart and cleaned. This gasket here, this engine, this top of the engine is really in good condition. Um, uh, it does look a little carbony. Mm. Uh, decisions, decisions. Let 
let me think about what we should do. I want to do a pressure test on this carburetor to see its condition. Uh, so well, let's go ahead and give that a try. Another primer bulb. That's clogged. That's kind of open. I'm just going to try to figure out which one's the uh, return and which one is the uh, fuel in. It's, it's, this line is just falling apart. I thought that was going to be easy. Just pull it off, yeah. Right, let's give this a try. That's water, by the way, inside of there. The water helps with uh, creating a better seal. So I know from pushing this, right? That's the return. That's the, the green. That's the return. And this would be the intake. Okay, so intakes there, returns on that side. So let's let's see. we get for I haven't figured this out fully yet. I know that the primer bulb we went up primer bulb would suck in. So we need to okay, so we need to press the primer bulb. No. Push pressure in on this side and see if it holds. So we're gonna go to no more than seven PSI. That is a great carburetor. Can you see that? We have no issues with that carb. Okay. Alright, so we need to check the primer bulb, alright? So, let's go ahead and get some more water in there. Let's do the return. So the return, we should see, we should press the primer bulb, Let's see if that builds and holds. There you go. So it's like six or seven PSI right there. That's holding, so we have a great, great carburetor on this side. We know that uh, carburetors. We had to spend a little time cleaning this carburetor. See the gasket's kind of stuck onto there. So I want to clean that off and see if we can get a, a much better um, seal. So to do that, we're going to try to use uh, some WD-40. See if we can. Soften it up a little bit. It's got a plastic scraper.
looks pretty good, right? Yeah, not bad. Maybe a little bit more there, but other than that, looks pretty good. Alright, I'm thinking I'm gonna take this muffler off so we can, uh. <laughs> this is a T25, by the way. I want to clean this thing ultrasonic cleaner. Like these three are T twenty fives. I'm unsure. Yeah, I think that's probably all I need. Yeah. Blah blah blah. Should be three eighths, right? No, five sixteenths. Okay. They got some Loctite on them, or I'm so sorry, thread locker. So I got three of those, and then so that just sat down like that. Okay, so it should just kind of pop right off. Yep, just like that. <laughs> you know, uh, you know that feeling you get when you should just leave it alone. Yeah, it's not worth it. Okay, what do you think this is? So we're gonna leave that attached. Let's gonna try to pull this off. T20. Yep, T20. a bit of a clean. Like that. Like that. Yeah, I think we got ourselves a good candidate. Notice that the uh, carburetor has this uh, gasket on it. I'm sorry, the um, exhaust. If it's a, I don't know if it's a badly worn O-ring or is it supposed to be this flat or it was once round. Not really sure. Let's just clean this, clean this area.
This needs to be cleaned. Uh, the surface. It's got the old gasket material on there. So let's 